Hello and welcome back to the Film Posers YouTube channel. My name is Huang and I'm of course joined by my lovely co-host Anna and today we're going to be talking to you about a little film called Paint directed by Britt McAdams. So for those of you who don't know, Paint is about Carl Nargle, Vermont's number one public television painter and he is convinced he has it all. A signature perm, a custom van, and fans hanging on his every stroke. That is until a younger, better artist steals everything and everyone Carl loves. We're going to give you our general thoughts about this film because we're more or less on the same wavelength with this film. Overall, the trailer is nothing like what this film delivers at all. And we were very surprised by that. Because the trailer paints it out as this typical independent comedy film with typical deadpan humor. But, come to find out, it's actually full of sexual innuendos. Like, a lot. <laughs> a lot. No, the thing is that if you look into the the comments of the trailer, people are like, oh, is this like a Bob Ross biopic? Yo, mama. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, if only <laughs> I did not think that okay because Owen Wilson's playing this Bob yeah. Ross inspired character but I yeah. never thought that this film would take that approach of Owen Wilson playing a Bob Ross inspired characters and visualize him as this sex symbol like Anchorman or Austin Powers in the sense that they're not the most attractive looking guy but women are throwing themselves at him. And it's raunchy yet fun satire, if you will. Yeah. If, like, when I thought about Oil Wilson impersonating Bob Ross, I used to think about the, oh, wow. <laughs> it was. It had that very yeah. interesting, quirky aspect. It was really horny. It was like mama, like literally the whole first act is like, okay, we have established that this character is definitely in La Mara. He's not only With... in La Mara, <laughs> pero he is ready to get down and he doesn't realize that women are just being like in his van being like, I think we would be more comfortable in the back of this van and this whole out bed that you have here and i'm here thinking i never thought i'd see this much action in a van Please, and I, I in never this film thought, i never thought we will get to see a bob ross impersonation having some action but it's so ridiculously stupid that i really enjoyed it yeah again the deadpan humor for me it worked maybe not every joke will land for everyone but again, it's clearly satirical in the way it depicts the Bob Ross-inspired character. We laughed throughout. There were a lot of great jokes, I gotta say. Yeah. And again, it was so stupid that you laughed with the film rather than at it, which is good. Yeah, it's just, like, when I went, when I got out of this film, I was thinking, like, what? Like, this reminds me of something. And then yeah. it clicked. This movie reminds me of a very stretched out comedy skit like yeah. at first it works a lot of jokes a lot of like horniness to it and you gotta like start to laugh because okay this is stupid but it's funny like we laugh at them you know but then it's just it's the same jokes recycled all over again in different ways <laughs> yeah, come on, okay. <laughs> you laugh at it, but I'm like, okay, it's kind of getting old. But by the end of the movie, you're like, okay, we, we have some couple of laughs. We kind of get it, move, move forward. But uh, it keeps getting at it. And you're like, is this what's really it? <laughs> is this what we got? Because this is a 96 minute movie. It's, you know, very short runtime. You can get through it. It does have that lgbt twist that took us all by surprise in our screening yeah. but like you said it's an overstretched out comedy skit and because of that when you did get tired of some of the sex jokes I'm, so, I'm sorry at one point at one point you're just like i don't know how many wows i can get 
intrigued by, if you will. Ikawage, you kind of get lost. You kind of lost count how many sex jokes they make. Ikawage, okay, we get it. <laughs> On to the next one. I at least just wanted Owen Wilson to say, wow, once. Just once. Uh huh. We didn't got didn't. it. We didn't get it. But because we got tired out by the jokes, we were left with the film. And we looked into the film itself while we were watching what it was, what was going on. And, you know, the charming cast, you know, they carry the film. But the film itself doesn't have much to say. It, I don't even know if it knows what it wants to say. Because I could tell you more or less what happens. I could tell you more or less what it's trying to get at. But it just, it didn't know what it wanted to say. It has some interesting themes brought up, which we discussed when we got out. You know, you can have many great ideas. But you can't just throw them at the wall and see if it sticks. It's like they're casually mentioned and then they move on. The film is more in yeah. the line of, I'm a movie that you just sit down, let everything unfold in front of you. And it's probably enjoyed best that way. Because if you start to think about it, you'll start to go, okay, I can't 100% know why I'm watching this film. Because I'm following this artist, but this other one's going to replace them. And there are some themes in there that they're explored a little bit, but I don't think they do enough with it. So the movie, it feels like it plays with a lot of themes. It's like, okay, okay, let me throw this theme. Let me throw that. But they just like briefly touch it and then, okay, move forward. So it's like, okay, it doesn't, like you said, it doesn't know how to define itself. Because it feels like it, there's a lot of themes, like the jokes kind of like fills in the whole goals that the plot has yeah and at the end it's just a whole movie with a lot of sex jokes but nothing to it i kind of agree with you well i had a better time than you do with the film when i think about it it's like yeah did have more jokes and more than story if you will i mean of course i sat down and i thought about it and i wrote this down but if i have to do that with a film to figure out what it's about you didn't do your job well enough unfortunately but I do see the ideas here because, you know, you see themes of how people in the entertainment industry have to reinvent themselves to avoid young competitors taking their spot and make them fade away. And you also see how quickly a company that believed in you can turn on you. That We see that a lot happen in the entertainment industry. You have the hot new ingenue. They're hot for a while. Then you have the next one. And then it's up to them to keep themselves relevant or else they fade away and then they end up having a comeback and they go oh my god we missed you so i did like that critique but you also see frustration and burnout throughout the artistic lens you know you can see also how misogyny has been rewarded in a male dominated work environment with how owen wilson's character unfortunately treats women <laughs> in this film and yeah they do throw themselves at him but at the same time you don't see his character care that much about them. And that that was very unfortunate, but I'm glad they do address it in the film. Yeah, I feel at least that they do talk about it, even though like by the end, it's just like, okay, he did that. Because there was this one specific character, like, oh, okay, yeah. she knows that okay, he is like that and she did all that, but like, oh, okay, I still care for him. It's yeah, so she still okay. cared for him. She she was very much the role of, I can fix him, don't worry. Yeah. No one else <laughs> could in my office, but I can. Like, you do see that attitude. Yeah. And again, you also see for a minute, for a minute, even though it was used in the comedic sense, you see how they're treated in the workplace and how they address mm -hmm. the men of saying, yeah, this is how you're treating us. But it's done for comedy. And I think it could have been stronger if that yeah. one, they just took it a little more seriously to have that clash of oh this happens and we need to address that yeah but again it also gets affected like you said when you bring in all the sexual jokes with it and at one point you do lose the idea of what could have been i think a really great time and i think the satire suffers a little bit because of that yeah it feels that there wasn't enough balance in the film Exactly. I know it's comedy, but can you at least balance it a little bit out with a more serious tone? Jackie, you're touching these serious subjects. You just treat it as like a whole joke at the end. I do agree with what you said. And we actually watched a satire last year 
called Official Competition, which we loved. And I bring that up because that film managed to perfectly get the balance you need in a satire of comedy and critique. And yeah. this film, you see that they were trying to go for that. But while you could have a good time with this film, if you just expect nothing from it and go with it, if you expect more and you analyze it, yeah, you're probably not going to have as great of a time yeah. because it doesn't strike that perfect balance you need for a satire. I got to say, overall, I think we're going to agree on this one. Paint can be a fun time if you go with it, if you go along with the journey that it presents, like the show itself. Maybe you won't feel like you're watching a wall that's just been painted dry and you're just sitting there wasting your time. But I do think the film could have been stronger had it explored more of the themes that were presented, which you kind of had to dig deep for a little bit instead of them being more present on the surface. What do you think? Yeah, I, I feel like the movie should have like at least come over and sit down and try to figure out like to define the sense a little bit more. Because then again, it's just like, oh, let's fill it up with jokes. And they kind of forget about the plot because they bring some interesting and mature themes to it, but they just like driven it down to a joke. Um, the movie feels like one of those movies that you put on like in the background when you're doing like work or something. That definitely that's how I feel about this movie. Yeah, I don't know how many people are gonna rush to see this on an airplane, if you will, if there are yeah, other options. Yeah. But I agree it might be on a streaming service and you put it on in the background, you do some other stuff. There are some good parts here. Again, the cast, very yeah. good cast. And they have really great delivery. They have great chemistry with each other. So I think that overall works well. We're a little different on ratings. I gave it three and a half out of five, but the more I think about it, it might get lowered to a three. <laughs> yeah, I gave it a three. And now, like after this review, I'm like <laughs> juggling if like, my review should stick like that or not. <laughs> it's kind of sad, though, because we, we had a great reaction getting out of the theater. Yeah. And it's unfortunately one of those films where you have a great reaction to it, but then you think about it and you start to poke holes in it and you're just like, oh, maybe it's not as great as I remembered. So yes. overall, if you want to check this film out, it's in theaters this weekend. I think if you do really want to check this out, I think we could recommend a matinee, you know, the first showing in a theater. Definitely. Down the line, I think, if anything, if you're going to check it out, it should be for Owen Wilson's performance. Because yeah. for a Bob Ross impersonation, he does it well. Granted, he's a very horny might Bob be, Ross, but... Might have the, oh, wow, effect, but okay. Yeah, it's missing the, oh, wow. It's missing the, wow, to just take it to that <laughs> next level. That way, it's Bob Ross Wilson, if you will. <laughs> and with that, we conclude our review for paint. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check it out, you can see it in theaters right now. Check your local listings. It could be a fun way to pass the day. You never know. I mean, I always say cinema is subjective. If it interests you, try it out. If not, there are other options. That's why our tastes are so different, but that's also why we're film posers. Exactly. We'll give you the best advice. Y'all either work you either vibe with it or you don't that's just how it is and that's how it should be you have fun with it so thank you so much for watching if you like this video you can hit the like button you can subscribe leave us a comment did you watch paint did you enjoy paint do you want to buy paint after seeing this film and make do you want to watch comment? paint dry <laughs> do you remember the computer application paint that used to be on a desktop <laughs> and you want to bring that back let us know in the comments thank you again for watching you can follow us on our socials at twitter instagram facebook at film posers we want to thank you for watching and remember we're all film posers bye, bye.